Ladies and gentlemen, through the timer, I'm ready and I'm absolutely willing to destroy this monarch's journey. So we're gonna just uh, get rid of this timer. And you know what, frankly, let's just change the overlay. Welcome everybody that is uh, present right here. I have a huge ambition today because I want to knock out this monarch's journey beyond the, you know, the third one. So there are three challenges as always with this one. Hieroglyphics, dynasty members, two out of 80. That is the one where I'm like, I honestly, I don't think we have to do this. It's only three points. It's like so long. Who cares about this? Maybe we're going to do this. It depends on how long the stream goes. It depends on how, you know, long it takes us to grow this family. But I am willing and able to destroy Tutan Kadum and don't stop me now. This will be incredibly easy and this will be incredibly nice because it's just such a comfortable, beautifully, you know, uh, scenic kind of journey. We're going to go through this. It's going to be entertaining. It's going to be fun because everything that we can do here is absolutely nonsensical. All the strategies that we're going to employ for this journey will absolutely not work out. If you saw this in real life, you would go, what the fuck? And that's exactly how we're going to play this. Welcome, everybody, by the way. Jackie, Jonas, Sarah, General Den, welcome, General Kenobi, Alexandru Gabri uh, Gabriel, nice name. Welcome everybody, because today we are going to venture into the nothingness that is not role-playing in CK2, but instead, you know, creatively using game mechanics. Yeah, I couldn't even let the timer run down today, because I was like, you know what, I got nothing else to do. Usually I got something else to do, like got a walk around my apartment, do this or that. But today I was like, you know what, why don't we just get into it? And that is exactly what we're going to do. So we are Queen Shajar al-Dur of Egypt of the Bari dynasty. We are fairly powerful. I mean, look at this. We hold Al Jazeera, Syria, then uh, Egypt, parts of Jerusalem, over 51% indeed. And then of course, Mecca and Medina. And we're going to Destroy everything that stands in our way. Now, how do you do this, you may ask? And, and the first thing, of course, is always you pick the theology focus. We're going to also build a war chest. I mean, that's just a given, right? Because you can always just complete that goal. And then, of course, we have to expel first. And I'm going to do this fairly rapidly because I think it is something that we can do fairly rapidly. We're going to expel. We're going to extort for even more money. Give me 110 bucks. I'll take it. And I would like... Uh, let's give Sadaka all that money, uh, all that piety, I should say, will do us quite well. We could observe Ramadan, but I would rather donate to the Bektashi, giving us further 100 uh, piety. I will also divorce this man. Look, this is all, and I just want to say this. I'm doing this very quickly, and we are going to do this very quickly. But just so you know, you can do it, you know, very slowly as well. It won't change anything. Um, let's go, do we even have to go on a hunch? Wait a minute, give me, give me one moment here. I need to check something. I can't even recheck, uh, rechat while I do this. Did you guys see, by the way, Harald Hadrade is uh, the next challenge, and I think that maybe I'm even going to stream tomorrow. Right, I almost forgot about it. Embrace the Ashari school. There you go. So, with all this that I just did in like literally two seconds, we have 245 piety. Wolfstone says, don't have Sword of Islam. That sucks, my man. But they did offer it for free in one of the earlier Monarch's Journeys. Sorry to say that you didn't pick it up by, uh, back then. Now, that being said, uh, we are literally good to go. <laughs> this this challenge is ridiculous. I thought about this actually quite intensively uh, before we did this. Usually I don't do that. I will tell you. But for this one, I thought, you know what? What if we min-max it? And here we are. Let's just unpause. Check this. Oh, wow. We fulfilled our ambition. Who could have? Who could have known? Incredible. Let's groom an air. Check this out. The Pope has declared a crusade against us. That is incredible. As a fellow Sunni, I pledge to stand by your side. Thank you, leader of the Delic Carganate. Uh, won't really need that, I'll be honest with you. So with this lady, everybody always goes, Oh no, the crusade is so difficult. Despite everyone helping you, of course, they will go for Jerusalem instead because that is the goal of the Jihad. And I can only tell you, it really doesn't matter. None of it matters and none of it ever will matter. And you know what? I just realized, of course, I would like to give away a lot of these uh, provinces that we're actually holding. You know what? I, I will take the time to do that. I'm indeed a bit annoyed by the fact that we have this many. And I, I want to look at the religions just for a second here. Um, 
Let's just hand out the worthless ones. It's a very rapid start to this uh, stream, I will tell you that much. And of course it is, I mean, how could it not be? It's a very rapid monarch's journey, isn't it? A lady that has so much more in mind, you know, so much more power to get, and we are going to get said power. Just need to hand out some nonsense here. My god, there's a lot of nonsense. Let me just uh, check one thing. I'm gonna make sure that I keep Aswan. Aswan needs to stay in our hands. That one is important. Not at the moment, mind you, but long term. Certainly is. Some people that I'm giving titles to here are ambitious as well, but... I just gotta tell you, who really cares about it? I certainly don't. What's the other one? El Arish. Hell yeah. I think we're gonna give away Tinnies. There you go. And it has been done. So with that being done, everybody is happy. We have our piety and all we're waiting for now. So the crusade, if you if you play this monarch's journey, it's a bit distorted right now, but let me just explain. Everything that I did, the Ashari school, the uh, Gif Sakari, uh, or whatever it's called, I can't remember actually. All of that stuff, give, you know, the donation to the Bektashi order, makes it so that you have enough piety to convert away from Islam. And if you do that, if you were to convert away from Islam, the crusade would be rerouted. Now, we're going to use that, the crusade being rerouted, even further to our benefit. You will see uh, in, in what way we're going to do that in a second, once the Caliph declares, uh, you know, his personal jihad. Ca uh, Captain Mukhtar worries that the people of my realm lack just judgment. Of course. Count Levon. You shall be the new judge of our territory. Jihad for Jerusalem. There you go. So, Caliph al-Mustazim just declared the Jihad for Jerusalem. And you know what? As soon as someone declares the Jihad for anything that isn't you, we're just gonna do something very comfortable. Hello there. I am Maya Fazite now. How did you know? Why, yes, that is my chosen religion. Isn't it lovely to see? <laughs> oh no, I should have uh, arranged a betrothal. Uh, no, 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 not a betrothal. Shit. I actually think I screwed it up. I should have arranged a divorce before we converted, but let's just check this out. Maybe we can still divorce. That's the big question. The rise of the Shia in Karnam. Interesting. I may have to restart in case I can't divorce this man. Just because I want a bit of a more optimal playthrough. I know it sounds silly, but I'm very much interested in that. Lachlan, welcome to the live stream. Let me actually check out that right here. In multiplayer, only one guy needs to have the DLC. That is true. It is a wonderful thing that all Paradox games share among them. Keep up the fantastic work. Happy to join you from Prince Edward Island, Canada. Damn! That is a unique place to be. Thank you for joining us. Looking forward to more Prince Ali later. Tell me right now, because I can tell you this will be the question of the upcoming Ali episode. Rustman or Norse? Ah. You just decided to pay tribute to me, uh, to stop paying tribute to me, huh? That's a bit, uh, cowardly. Now, the big question here will be, can we divorce? Because if we can't, I will restart. Just because I think there's a more optimal way of doing it, and I want to do it the most optimal way possible. Let me just check this out. He shouldn't like this man, so this should theoretically work. No. Alright, you know what? Sorry to tell you. Early restart. I screwed it up. Primarily because I want to participate in the crusade. That's right. We are going to be on the side of the crusaders, uh, crusaders instead of being the target. But I kind of screwed it up here. I should have divorced him before we converted. Don't worry about it. Yes, let's restart this. So, in case you don't know what's going on here, let me explain. I looked at this challenge, I looked at this monarch's journey, and I thought to myself, this can be absolutely achieved in a very easy way in a very optimal way and i want to do exactly that way i know you know restarting is usually something that i don't do i just take it you know no matter how it comes uh, in whatever way it comes really but with this one i thought to myself you know what let's just make it a bit more optimal so to speak um i would like to donate and to do that we have to expel first then we're going to pay sadaka where is it where is it there it is give sadaka for my sins then we're going to Give it to the Bektashi order, and of course, um, I will now become a practice, or a pra what's the word here, a practicing uh, Ashari school Muslim, there you go. And you know what, let's go on a Hajj as well, because that Hajj will give us, you know, more piety that we can use when it comes to uh, converting further, and we will of course do that long term. 
Now to do that, we actually need more prestige, and I think we can get that prestige just by waiting. I guess we can't really do anything here, so let's just go ahead and do that. Hmm. I would have to hand out everything individually again, but you know what, I'm gonna do it more optimally this time around. Let's just hand it out to these fellas, because these fellas are already landholders. And of course, giving them more land is quite beneficial, meaning that they will be happy with us, and potentially will even convert to our religion. Depending on how happy we make them and how grown up they are. I mean, this dude can't convert to us anyway. You can get Tinnis, that's okay. I remember handing that out last time. He has 16,000 troops. Jesus. 16,000 troops. Mm, Azir should be fine, there you go. Right, you two. Everybody will be made happy. Look, I'm just gonna give it to these fellas because these, these fellas are important vessels as is and making them more important just makes it so that they will be happier with us. 10 out of 5, Jesus. Can I change any of the laws here? Oh yeah. Hmm. Theoretically I could, but I don't like the piety loss, so let's just not do it after all. You still hate me. Hello! I would like to give you some land. Perfect. 9 out of 5, I mean... Really? Alright, let's just fast forward a bit here. Let's go towards uh, theology as we always do, and then let's pick up the uh, room and air focus. Alright, I have now actually done all preparations. We're going to do the Hajj, then we're going to convert. Let me take a look at chat. Sarah Myers! Holy crap, thank you for the 499. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you for supporting the channel. I hope that I can make it important. Uh, Lachlan, as in switch away from Orientalist or switching away from Neomo, also practitioner. Yes, we are going to switch away from Orientalist. And we are primarily doing this because we have explored everything that Orientalism does in After the End. You know, over there, of course. What I want to do is I want to essentially reform a religion that is either Neo, you know, the, the Rustists, the Rust cultists, or the Norse. Either way, we can reform either of those. We could also theoretically conform, uh, reform the uh, occultists, but that would take a while longer. So uh, just let me know what you think is uh, the right choice, of course. And Rios and single player game too. <laughs> yeah, we did do Rios, I guess. That's a really good joke. I like that one. Um. Isn't there a law somewhere that says two of us shouldn't get along? Joking. Is this Romania and Hungary? Am I getting wrong? Uh, am I getting this wrong here? Oh yeah, there you go. I see how it is. No, we actually. This is something that very few people know. In the Discord of this channel, we have a lot, a lot of Romanians. I don't know how and I don't know why, but initially when I created the Discord, there were a lot of Romanians joining, also a lot of Moldavians. I have never met a Moldavian in my entire life. And yet, you know, in the Discord, I've met so many. Very impressive. Very friendly people as well, at least the ones that I met. Oh, and look at that. The old man says that Ibn Mazud reported that the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, said truthfulness leads to piety and piety leads to the garden. A woman should be truthful until she is written down as truthful in the sight of Allah. Lying leads to deviance and deviance leads to fire. A person lies to the person that she's a point that she's written down as a liar in the sight of Allah. No longer deceitful, damn. Allah must have impressed us. Now, with that being said, I would like to change this law, but... Oh, are we praying? Oh, we are on the Hajj. Right, I almost forgot about it. I'm gonna take Humble here because it gives us more piety. And how could I say no to more piety? Now, the, you know, crusade has already started. Don't worry about it. I just need prestige to be positive, and then we can convert away from our current religion. All of these boosts to piety, by the way, are very positive, but not necessarily required. If you're doing this at home, all you need to do is get to about 250, maybe 300 piety, you will be fine. Now, I'm going to observe Ramadan, just because it gives us even more piety, and you can't say no to piety. I mean, let's be honest here. All that I worry about, though, is converting to Myophysite in the start, because that makes it so that the Crusade is no longer coming for us. Crusades, in general, are only coming for heresies of Catholicism and for other religions, so, you know, Islam, uh, what else? Judaism, for example, Tengri, Norse, Romuva, all those religions. But we are going to convert to Maiaphysite, which means that the crusade will be rerouted. Most of the time it will be rerouted to Rum, meaning that you can get one additional kingdom already. I didn't credit it with my mate claim to have heard that Duke al Mugid Umar can't sleep because he's constantly thinking of me. Well, isn't that nice, but honestly, I don't really care for him. But let's just skip ahead of this. We have become ill and we'll have to abandon the fast. Damn. Barely gave us any piety here, you know, observing Ramadan. Let's just make sure that I am not going to die. If I die here, my god. Don't do it. 
Hmm, he's ambitious. I don't like that in a court physician, but you know what? I'm gonna give you some gift uh, as well, so that you don't kill me. Hmm. Please treat me. Look at that. 0.5 health. That's quite nice. I would love to see a game similar to EU4 time setting, but has the character of traits and inter interaction like in CK2 and being able to play counts and dukes inside a kingdom. I don't know how long term... So, the problem is, I, I suppose, and I don't really mean to call it a problem, but I think the issue with that idea is, in general, that the role of smaller vassals became smaller and smaller the longer we go on. So starting in, you know, 1400, 1500, the smaller vassals became less and less important. It was primarily a fairly centralized ordeal, although, of course, you know, I would be much more in favor of EU4 and, and EU, I guess, in the grand scheme of things as, like, a concept of a game, if they focused more on persons and, and you know, roleplay, instead of focusing on the board game. But I do want to add, I have a lot of friends that like the board game aspect. They really like the idea of just essentially maximizing a board game. And, you know, more power to them. If they have fun with it, why not? Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go, oh, really? I have cancer? Seriously? Our tributary state of IDAP has apparently decided to stop paying his tribute. Excuse me? Jihad for Jerusalem, that is good. They called the Jihad, meaning we don't have to worry about it anymore. All I am worrying about is getting to positive prestige so that I can divorce my husband and actually marry someone matrilineally. Perhaps it is time to make him get back in line. Damn, everybody is try uh, stopping the tributary payments to us, but honestly, it really does not matter to me. I'm a married woman, by the way, if you didn't know. No, 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 we're not restarting, you hear me? We carry on. I had one restart, and that is going to be the only restart. Everybody else can be Chief Cardi, I don't care. Hello there! Would you like to be divorced? Why, yes, isn't that nice? I pay you 473 bucks. Uh, more power to you, being divorced from me. Now, we're going to convert to Maya side. And I think we're already at the point where we can practically do this. We shall now matrilineally marry someone that is Catholic. Anyone that is Catholic, really, but preferably, of, some, uh, of course, someone that, for example, is lustful, but I can't see anyone here. So, oh, no, down there, actually. I'm going to take this chap. 49. Jesus, you know what? That is too old. Balram. You are now my new husband. How does it feel? So, with this new husband, what we are going to do is we're going to go on and go on a pilgrimage. Now, you may say, haven't you already been on a Hajj? Of course we have been on a Hajj, but, you know, why not go on a pilgrimage as well? Look at that. I will go to, what about Jerusalem, sure. So the plan is that we become Catholic before the Crusades start, and once the Crusade happens, we will be Catholic, go on the Crusade, take the Crusade goal, and then reconvert to Islam. That is really uh, as simple as I can describe it. Of course, we do have now a husband that hopefully we'll be able to create a child with, but even if not, we should be fine with 35. I mean, you can still get children at that point. I will become kind because if I'm not mistaken, doesn't that give you some... No piety, actually, huh? Interesting. I thought kind would also give you piety, but... I must have been wrong, uh, uh, wrong there. During the last couple of days, you have made company on the road with a holy knight on his way to the same destination. You have lively and interesting conversations, and you find that you have many things in common. Oh, unexpected. A new friend. Welcome to Jerusalem. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Does killing your husband count as a landed character, not of your dynasty, for the challenge? Uh, yes. So, the original husband that I just divorced, and I can't honestly, I, I don't even remember who it was, because he doesn't show up here. But if you were to kill that husband, it would count. Yes, this is true. Ooh, I do not want... Holy crap. I have so many hours in this game and I've never seen this event. The Healers. Near the holy sites you hear rumors of groups of monks with strange cures for diseases. Eagerly you seek them out, hoping against hope that they may aid you. Once in their care you are fed strange potions, foods and herbs. You are unconscious and delirious, or delirious, during most of the process and remember a few details, but at last you wake up to find that you have been miraculously healed of your ills. So, the thing is, I don't want to be zealous. I'll be honest with you. I just do not want to be zealous. So what we're going to do instead is, those monks really know their stuff. I'm cynical now, apparently. It's of course bad for our entire piety economy. 
But damn, I've never seen that event. It's crazy. Actually never even recognize anything about that event. Now what I want to do is, um, I want to convert to Catholicism and to do that I need some more beautiful, beautiful piety. So you know what? Look at that. So this is what we want to do. With our husband we can convert to Catholicism right here as long as we have a bit more piety. And we can get that if we just wait a bit. Making a decent amount of piety. For as long as we go. Although I would love to make some more, I'll be honest with you. Mm. Ah, there we go. Wait, what? Okay. Fall of Smolensk, first of all. But this is more important. A monophysite uprising. Wait, what? See? Well. This game is a bit confused. We are Christians, and usually you face very little religions from other... So, if you have a heresy, there's a lot of reli a lot of uh, rising ups there. But if you have a different religion of the same religious group, you fairly rarely face rebellions. But now here we are, look at this. The monophysites have decided that being myophysite isn't enough. They need us to fully crush them before they give up. And you know what? I'm ready to crush them. Lachlan, thank you for the 10 Canadian dollars. Thank you so much for the stream support. Lachlan, as a whole, I hope that I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I remember you writing a, co a comment where you said the name is pronounced Lachlan, but what I need you to know is that, and I hope I'm pronouncing it correct, by the way, Lachlan, but um, in German, we have the word Loch as, ve as well, but we pronounce it Loch, so you know, <laughs> so when you wrote, it's pronounced Loch, I was like, I think he means the Loch Loch, right? Because in German, again, it would be Lochlin. Uh, it, it left me confusing, but Lochlin, there we go. It's a nice name, by the way, just for the record. Just uh, difficult to pronounce for German speakers, I think. Because we have this different, very similar word, but uh, yet very different. And look at this, they're actually coming to fight us, and I think that is a huge mistake on their part, of course. They're merely rebels, and we have so many people coming here. Yeah, look at this. Yikes. Imagine attacking this and giving me free piety. Got him. All right, beautiful. And now we can actually go ahead and convert to our husband's religion just as we are supposed to. And we're Catholic. Hello, Pope. I would like to join your crusade. And you know what? I am a very, very selfish crusader. I will keep every single title that you hand out during the crusade. This is indeed Rum. So what we shall do is, uh, how many days? 217 days. Let's get all of our armies and let's get them to the border. It's time. Gaelic for Warrior of the Lake. It, that is a super cool name. It's just one of those names that you encounter very rarely, especially, of course, you know, in a German-speaking country, but it is a super cool name. It just sounds cool as well. I had a, you know, on a very, I mean, it's not that long ago, actually, like, like three or four months, I played in in Ireland, and I encountered a lot of Gaelic names. I, I played during, uh, not during, I, I played the mod Winter King, right? Or Winter Kings, I can't remember. I haven't played it in such a long time. I had a friend developing that mod, then he later dropped out of the, you know, mod developer team. As it happens with those free and, and randomly supported mods, you could say. But there were a lot of Gaelic names, and they are so difficult to pronounce for anyone that does not have any knowledge of Gaelic whatsoever. Excuse me? What is this? What is, what is, what is this supposed to be? Why do, why do I have to beat up the Orthodox Uprising? Are you kidding me? Can I kill this commander? Nope. I don't belong here, I guess. I shouldn't even have had that battle, but alright. It's There are so many really cool names. I will never forget just how strange the name Owen looks in the traditional spe spelling. You know, Aogarn. But once you think about it, it's actually a really cool, uh, cool way of spelling it. It's an alternative way, and I, I really like it. Just in general, the names that... Uh, are traditional. I think they're so uncommon to me. That they're, they're so un, un, uh, unusual to me. Very cool. I I think it would cool uh, would be cool if I could ever visit Ireland. It's just one of those very faint streams, you know. I, I uh, faint dreams, I guess. Ireland or, Sco or Scotland, for that matter, I guess. One of those faint dreams. I would like to visit the Isles in general. I've only been to London, and that was it. I haven't even seen anything outside of London, really. We've only been to London, uh, you know, urban London, not even the. Uh, entire metropolitan area where you still have some rural areas. No, 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 none of that. Just the 
immediate area. I would like to just visit the British Isles in general, I feel. A lot of cool stuff going on there. But, you know what, let's just, uh... Hmm... I think I'll take the piety. If I become depressed, who cares? How many people can I have in this province? Oh, only 20k. Yeah, you need to move on. Damn, we actually took the attrition there. That's okay. Lachlan uh, sounds like a character from a Sherlock Holmes book. Exactly! That's the thing. It sounds so mystical. Although I'm sure it is not actually mystical and he's just a normal person. But hey, how am I to tell? I've tried this monarch's journey like three times and never thought about actually joining the crusade. <laughs> I mean, it is a creative form of using game mechanics, isn't it? Now, let's move in and let's join the crusade. Let's take it. The jihad fails, by the way, as it so often does. And just for the record, by the way, this is the more ridiculous thing. So joining the crusade is one thing, but if you're Catholic, you can just usurp Jerusalem. We didn't go to war with them. We didn't take a single province, but now we're Jerusalem. And look at that. Bronze. Don't stop me now challenge. I gotta tell you, it's a, a bit of a weird challenge because you can cheese it as much as I am cheesing it right now. Let's take it all down. That's the dream. Took some attrition there that I should have uh, should not have taken, but honestly that is okay. We're merely going to take a bit of attrition over here. We can lose 600 people. I think that is perfectly fine. Let's siege it all down. This will be our kingdom. Somebody has to take it, right? Oh, look at that. I would love to fight those because that is a lot of, a lot of contribution. As we travel through Melitane, we come across a festival to ancient gods, still celebrated by the local populace. It reminds me of some of the harvest festivals at home. Hmm. Could take part, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really hurt. Losing the depressed state would be good. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. We are no longer depressed. My depression is cured. Now what I would love to do... Look at that, Castle of Atlith has been created apparently. Not that we really care about it. I will follow these 1555 troops because I want to have them. I need that battle. There you go, beautiful. Look at this. Excuse me? It said- Oh no, don't go there! No, 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 don't you do it! I don't want to fight that. Are you crazy? How are we doing here in terms of war score? Oh, look at this. Holy shit. What? We didn't have a single battle, but we're at 24,000 in comparison to 1,565. I suppose because we've had so many troops stationed in the war goal, but my god, that is a bit too many. Uh, too much war score. Oh, 13,000 coming. Hmm. No, why don't we just unify our troops here? I want to fight this because that is a lot of war score that we can get. I will not become zealous. Thank you for offering, though. Dallas is a good trade usually, but not if you want to convert back to... Oh, really? That's a very foolish battle he's taken here, but you know what? Sure. I'm a crusader. <laughs> I'm a crusader. That is so stupid, just to see that message even. But look at that. We're gonna have a wonderful battle here, really, because more and more of our troops will... There you go. Be chiming in. Jesus. You have been destroyed. And I will be a close friend to Hochmeister Gunther. Good name, by the way. Gunther. I will be a close friend and uh, then convert away from Christianity yet again. I love this nonsense. You know, when... I rarely do them, but having these sort of nonsense campaigns where you can just go on and do anything because it will always work out in the way that you need it to work out. I mean, it's just beautiful, right? It's, it's like a... a beauty all by itself. Look at this. You want a non-aggression pact. Poland. I mean... I guess? Why not, right? Again, you have Crusader and the Muslim equivalent at the same time. I don't think so. I think as soon as you convert away from the religion that gives you that holy war trait, you immediately lose it. I think at least that that is how it goes. Reminds me of the one interview with, uh... Yeah, how is that actually pronounced? Saucy? Saucy Ronan? Okay, you know what? Let's just, uh... I have the power of the internet, right? So Soros? Let's take a gander here. How and how not to pronounce Saoirse Ronan's name. With awards season- Shawshank, wait, wait, okay. How and how not to pronounce Saoirse Ronan's name. 
Soshi. Soshi? No, wait, that's not what she says. Wait a minute, what? And how not to pronounce Saoirse Ronan's name. Saoirse. With award season upon us, one name we keep hearing is Saoirse Ronan. Saoirse. Saoirse. That's a cool name. I would have never guessed from pronouncing it, though. Is it a sh or s? What did, it, what did you do to the Orthodox faith? Uh, I didn't do anything. I'm just a beautiful Catholic conquering the world. What's the problem? Soshe. I had a crusader trade to a Muslim ruler in character creation, <laughs> creation once. <laughs> Alright, let's just win the crusade. Because I, I do want to reconvert. If we reconvert to Islam, it means that we are now in a position where we have wonderful open succession. Now, I will tell you, I do want a son. I don't necessarily want to inherit his color wound here. Sorche? It's Sorche, right? It's not Shorsi, is it? How and how not to pronounce Saoirse Ronan's name. Sorche, it's Sorche, right? I think so. Difficult names. Honestly, I think most of the difficulty just comes from the fact that it is written in Latin alphabet and we are used, or at least I am used, to a very German pronunciation of the Latin alphabet. When I look at the Latin alphabet, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, V, X, Y, Z. Now, if I were to look at an alphabet that is specifically written for Gaelic languages, I would look at it from a different angle. I would look at it from, you know, a, an angle that I think is more appropriate. My issue, at least I think so, primarily, when it comes to the pronunciation of Gaelic names is that I'm looking at it from a point of view that does not accommodate the pronunciation of Gaelic names. If we change that, oh look at that, don't take my war score here, I swear to god. If I looked at it from a more Gaelic point of view, I think it would be easier to pronounce the names, but as it stands, fairly difficult for me, of course. Trying my best, but you know, sometimes the best just isn't enough, and look at that, we are going to take this down, and of course some rulers will be Christian, but I mean... Get out of here. Yeah, Ypsilon. So Ypsilon, I'm not even kidding, is actually how it's pronounced in Greek. That is why we say Ypsilon. That's why. Ypsilon. What do uh, Norwegians say? Don't they say Ypsilon as well? What, 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 is the, what do the other Germanic languages say? Huh. The real Shajar is uh, a really interesting historical character. Fortunately, I think your Shajar will end up having a far less violent end. Let me guess, without looking it up, I assume that she got overthrown by some people uh, that thought they could rule in a better way. I really don't want to be... I really don't want to be zealous. I mean, being possessed would be kind of neat, eh? Fertility plus 20%. You know what? Give me the fertility, please. That's what I'm here for. Let's finish this war. Let's just, you know, call it a day here. I love this monarch's journey because of just how cheesable it is. And by the way, I do think that we may do a monarch's journey tomorrow as well. They announced Harald Hadrade. And that sounds fairly interesting to me. I don't know exactly what the challenges would be. I mean, I have no idea what they would be at all. So saying I don't know it exactly is doing it a bit of a of an injustice, I feel. But I would like to find out gonna come out tomorrow. If you haven't looked at it yet, it is going to be released tomorrow indeed. Yes, I will stick to my previous decision. Thank you very much. I will be the queen of Asia Minor. Hmm. Don't kill me. I already miraculously got cured of cancer. I don't want to risk anything else here. 100% and it's over! Just like that. Come on, Pope, please. Pope, please. Thank you. Beautiful. Victorious Crusaders. <laughs> Is it nonsensical? I mean, maybe. Does it work? Oh, absolutely. Look at, all, look at all these people just being like, ah, I'm not really a fan of you ruling over this territory. All right, let me just uh, take a quick gander here. Um, I can't create a new empire yet. I need 8,000 prestige. We're not even close to that. That sort of sucks, I guess. I don't think we're going to restore Constantinople. How many kingdom tier titles do I need? Just one more. We just need one more kingdom tier title. That is all we need. Do I have any land holding? Does this count? Let me just check here. Does it? It does not. 
But, oh, because it was lowborn, it does not count as a different dynasty. Alright, in that case, what we are going to do is, I'm going to do this one. This will be 1263, I would need 10 more years, we could reach that at 48. Just not sure that I want to risk it. Um, either way, I mean, look. Everything, you know, is the way it is, of course, but... It could be Zoon, that is so ridiculous, like, that is actually ridiculous. No, we're gonna be Sunni here. Come on, we're gonna just return to the Sunni faith. What's the big deal, right? What is the big deal? Welcome back, everybody. I am Sunni once more. And I shall leave all these people the way they are, because once we reach the revocation of religious titles, I can just revoke their titles, or rather, I can imprison them and make sure that they, uh, you know, can be executed. No, not you. I I'm not gonna... Are you crazy? I'm not executing you. I would like to give you some counties, though. Primarily counties over there, so that nobody can be mad at me. Look at that, beautiful. I don't really want to convert any of those, because if I, you know, get to imprison them after a short civil war, we should be in a position where I can actually fulfill the requirements of this challenge. The most tedious one, and like, let's be honest here, we all know that's the most tedious one, but the most tedious one without a doubt is getting 80, 80 members of your dynasty. Holy crap, 80 members. It's a very healthy amount of members, I would argue. Hmm, look at that. I could donate some more. I mean, we have infinite money at this point, let's be honest. None of these people, are you a member? Of, oh, you are a member of a dynasty. Welcome. You're dying. That what? Oh, what? Excuse me. Oh no, there you go, two out of three. Both of them actually counted, despite one of them being lowborn. Jesus, what? How does that make any sense? Uh, we can't raid, can we? No, no raiding allowed. What else is going on? Somebody's Quebecois, I think. Very nice. We can farm the Hajj decision for health. Wait, can I go on the Hajj again after reconverting? Oh yeah! <laughs> right, so whenever you convert, I guess. It takes away your pilgrimage and your crusader's tr uh, trade, as you can- Oh, we are still a crusader. I will not kill myself, no thank you. I would rather become uh, depressed and cynical, I guess. I was already cynical, fair enough. Alright, with that being said, um, I need one more kingdom title. Could I become the king? Yeah, there you go, well. Challenge done. Don't stop me now. We've done it. The gold challenge done in like two minutes. Of gameplay. Alright, let me actually take a look at chat here. You know, I'm I'm playing this game very actively today because I, I I'm very excited to actually fulfill this challenge. This challenge is cool. It's a very exciting challenge, but at the same time, I do want to read it a bit. I do want to read what all of you have to say, of course. Let me actually, you know what? I have to do something. I want to write a comment for the. Uh, through the darkest of times challenge. Not challenge, Jesus, the playthrough. Because today's episode in particular, I sort of failed. And and it's an interesting failure. I mean, the way I see it, not playing perfect is Hello, welcome everybody. No, stop speaking, please. Is in the interest of the game, but also. Hmm, let me let me think of a comment here. I, I wanna Kind of describe why I think me failing is still acceptable, especially because this is an Iron Man save game. In this particular Through the Darkest of Times, there are no further saves. I picked the game mode where if you fail, you fail. That's just it. Um, you know what? I'm gonna write that later, I think, after the stream. Don't worry about it. It would be too long of a comment to write it right now. Your dedication to religious pursuits, right, a friend. Don't worry about it. It's an interesting playthrough, and I gotta say, it is a very interesting game as well. Um, I don't at all regret play, uh, playing it. And of course, I, I rarely ever regret, uh, regret playing games. But for example, with We The Revolution, if you've seen that game, and I highly doubt that most of you have seen that game on this channel, because the channel was like tiny at like 1,000 subscribers or something when I played We The Revolution, but We The Revolution got weaker the further we got into the game. You know, uh, the, the further we got, the weaker it was. Through the Darkest of Times isn't like that at all. Through the Darkest of Times is very much strong throughout you know, the entire gameplay from start to finish, so I can't be against it at all. Hmm. Yeah, I wish... How many people do I actually need to kill here? Five people, that's all. Seriously. 
Only five people. But I mean, in that case, uh, hello, Ascalon. I would like to Holy War uh, Ascalon, the namesake of your country. Who are you? Oh. I think they were like in a minor war. Oh, well. Just raised some people in an absolutely n not good place. Can you convert to the non molesting religion of Greek Orthodoxy? I uh, cannot. Because Greek Orthodoxy is very boring. To go, uh, go back on your question how other German languages say you or Eps Ypsilon. In Dutch, in, uh, in Dutch, I can't read. We say don't say. What? Wait, you say U? Oh, so it's like, I guess you say like Y, right? Hmm. I mean, so. Y in German is essentially pronounced like an U, right? Like it's an E. For example, um, Uros, you know, it's pronounced like an E, U, like a mix of that, sometimes like this, sometimes like that. And we only use it, of course, in words that are not of Germanic origin. In in German words, we, we don't use the Y at all. Did he just dare assault with my troops? Yeah, my vassal is leading this war, and that's honestly fine because we still got the war, sto uh, the war score, but I mean, come on now. The assassins are destroyed. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you will be better soon. See, I would go with the war goal of reforming the Zunist faith, but we'd have to beat up the ill candidate for it, and I don't think we can do that. How are you doing, by the way? No, not you. I mean you. Of course, could never usurp that. Do we have a Shia Caliph? I think we do, right? You just... Wait, you're not the Shia Caliph. Isn't that interesting? I think we may become... We have to be male to become the Caliph? I don't think I do, but I don't... I'm not certain. I'm not actually certain. If we don't have to be male, we can just immediately become the Shia Caliph and have... Well, you know, a Shia ca uh, Jihad immediately getting yet another kingdom. Which could be quite cool. Well, well, well. Peasant revolt for Karak. Hmm. Not anymore. Beautiful. That's what I love to see. Now, I obviously don't want to hold any of this personally, although I could revoke it, I suppose. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the bigger challenge definitely is getting all those dynasty members, I think. Jesus, why are all of these kids? Where are the, like, normally aged women? That's cool. There you go. Sounds good to me. I need to kill some people actually holding titles. I can't raid. I wish I could raid. Could I convert to a culture that can raid? Can't the Bedouins raid? Am I wrong here? No special features. Disappointing. The Berbers? <laughs> Yes, the Berbers can raid, meaning if I held one of these titles, just one of them, I will be able to become a Berber, and that means that I can go on and actually raid, meaning I can capture some title holders, and that is the... Wait, what? Why can I not... Okay, wait a minute. There you go. This should work, right? Excuse me? Oh, there you go. Yes, I'm a Berber now. Hello, everybody. How are, you, how are you doing? Capital back to Cairo, thank you very much. <laughs> Look at this, this is beautiful, because now we can actually raid, and with raiding we can actually capture people that are title holders, meaning we should be fine. Okay, 8 out of 5, that's okay. Possessed is always the most appropriate trait for a player-controlled character, it actually is. Verbal Storm Keller. Because it was before the time the Templars were forcibly dismantled. 
Look at this. Let's get it. In the past few months, you have been spending many nights reading the Quran. Well, isn't that nice? Great Khan Hulagu of the Ilkhan and his vassals have converted and embraced the Sunni faith. Speaking of the Sunni faith, how do my vassals feel about me? Don't they already hate me anyway? I mean, many of them do. A lot of them definitely do. But you know what? I would like Mecca. And maybe I... You know what? Say no. I dare you. I knew it. I knew he wouldn't say no. If I become Shiite, can I form the Caliphate? I assume that the uh, Shia Caliphate actually requires you to be male or something. Man, when you search for this, the game always bugs out every damn time. Oh, well, it doesn't really bug out, it just slows down to a crawl. Seriously, look at this. Uh, look at this. My god. Alright, here's what we do. It's not the Muhammad. Uh, you are the Caliph, meaning that I can find Muhammad in your line, and Muhammad held both of the Caliphates. Oh no, we can totally do it. I'm just not public yet. Hello there. Right? There you go, we are the Khalifa. Beautiful. Nonsensical, but beautiful. Uh, my heir would be this man. I'm against this. Where's the rest of my family? Kalawun, I need you to convert. 100% convert. Sure, you can get Mecca, that's okay. Um, demand religi religious conversion, there you go. We're Shia now, guys. And all of you shall also be Shia. I mean, you're probably not gonna be Shia. You hate me, all things considered. And I assume that you also hate me, yeah, pretty much. Beautiful. Look at this. We are now the perfect religion. Man, this this is a monarch's journey that is actually nonsensical. We are worse than, uh, than the Vikings. Did we capture anyone? No. Disappointing. The fall of Krakow. What the hell is going on? Oh my god! Mongol war for lesser Poland. Damn. That's nasty. How are we doing here? Still no one. Damn. Insanely disappointing so far. Really becoming Sunni is insane. He almost totally destroyed Islam in reality. He probably would have uh, would have if his cousin Berke didn't stop him. He was the one that sacked Baghdad, right? Also, I actually do not want to be in this army. There's a lot of sickness there. Yeah, and we're not actually capturing anyone. We're ruining our troops, but I think that is less of a of an issue, seeing as we have practically infinite money. Let's just go on some... Uh, let's just go with some wars. Who could we attack here? I guess we could theoretically go against the Nicene Empire, although... See, I am thinking... We could go with the Jihad against the Nicene Empire, and we would probably win it. If I went for the Kingdom of Thrace, doesn't that enable me to ena to re-enable the Byzantine Empire? Am I wrong here? I didn't look at the... You know what? It doesn't actually matter. Let's just go for that. Let's go for Thrace. I'm ready. Jihad for Thrace. How many troops you got? 15,000. I can take a, a boatload of Holy Orders, especially you. And not just Holy Orders. Mercenaries, I should say. Let's do it. I don't know what exactly we need to hold, but I will conquer Thrace. Somebody has to do it, and it will be me. Let me tell you that much. This will be an absolutely crazy, a lunatic of a series. Uh, of a series. And honestly, it has to be done. Somebody gotta do it. The Mamluks, right? We get those for free as well. I completely forgot about those. Not even, not even shitting you. I completely forgot about those. All right, everybody assemble. Taking Thrace energy hard. And I think right after we're gonna become Ibadi. 
and become the caliph of uh, the Ibadi religion as well. They have 13,000 troops here, but once our troops arrive, we should be fine. Gotta wait a bit here. A lot of people, of course, joining them. That is still a threat to us. I'll be honest with you, it is a threat. We're not unbeatable. But we are hardly beatable. I think that is the most accurate way of describing this, especially with all the attrition. I'll be honest with you, I don't really care about the attrition. May the soldiers die. More power to them, right? <laughs> oh, excuse me, that's a bad choice. Don't do that. Halloween, yes, you are my heir. I knew this already. Why are you telling me about it? I don't know. Nobody knows. Alright, let's get him. Let's get him. You never stood a chance. Oh, they're actually coming for us here. Not a good choice. I gotta tell you, not a very good choice. Actually. Here we go. I could still hire more mercs, I suppose. Maybe we should do this. I should have transported them by boat. Listen, I'm a bit lazy, okay? Sometimes, when it comes to these things, I look at a scenario and I say to myself, I can just let them take some attrition. Who really cares about it, right? And most of the time, that is correct thinking, but not always. Sometimes I should be wise and split them, you know? Be a smart ruler instead of a ruler that says my people are expendable. But I mean, let's be honest here, most of the time, if you play CK2, your people are expendable. I think once you become a jihadi, like a mujahideen, I think that makes it so that you lose your trade, right? Your... Oh, you are in the actual right kingdom here. I'm now a mujahid, which I believe makes it so... Yeah, look at that. <laughs> We're no longer a crusader. We are no longer a crusader. Well, I mean, what can you do, right? Oh, look at that. 12,000 are coming. I'm gonna park you in Prusa because they will surely come towards us here. The fall of Vienna. Holy crap. Man, the Mongols really have it out for Christendom in this one. Oh, that was a foolish decision, my friend. An incredibly foolish decision. And I even didn't even auto assign commanders. This. Here we go. Oh, they actually wiped us. Did they, though? Oh, we wiped them. It was very close, but we did wipe them. Oi, oi, oi. My god. In Quran, it says a person only can attack another person on two occasions. Self-defense and war. I mean, the thing about that is, that is like almost every law, really, if I think about it. Become orthodox after the jihad. We probably will, but I will become a body first. I have something to do with an Ibadi character, okay? So we can declare another jihad, at least if everything goes right, which I think it will. They, they are actually like real dumb. Imagine attacking into pla- oh, it's planes. You know what? Maybe I am the dumb one. Who could have known? <laughs> Who could have known, guys? Nobody! Listen, don't blame me, okay? Nobody could have known. And there they go. Yet another loss for you. Sorry to tell you, my man. Let's destroy this weird-ass army and... Jesus, it's already almost over. This is such a weird monarch's challenge, just because it is so easy to do. Where the hell even is this rebellion? Excuse me? Irbil. Ah, okay. Yeah, we can take care of that later. Maybe I don't even have to take care of it. Can I become an emperor yet? No. Maybe after this uh, jihad. We'll see. Oh no, they're attacking me again. Whatever will I do? I don't know. It's so difficult to decide. Well, I'm really uh, in a pickle here. I have no idea. Oh, we defended? That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> it's a really bad meme as well. It's not even a good joke. Alright, it's over. Thank you for uh, attending this jihad. I appreciate your participation. But it is now over. Alright, what we now need... Just this, and then I shall declare war against you. Holy war for... 
race. Thank you very much. Do I have anyone in prison, by the way? Oh, hell yeah. Get out of here. There you go. How do you deal with succession if you're a woman? Um, since it is Islam, it's literally just open succession. It's just this dude here. I just need him to have any children. Uh, if we were to succeed on a position where we don't have enough people, you know, for example, we only have women and they can't inherit in Islam, we're just literally going to convert, you know, away from Islam. For the moment, it is very convenient, though, because it is, of course, open agnatic, meaning nothing splits and everything stays the same. Now, with that being said, uh, let's defeat the Latin Empire, shall we? Oh no, the Latin Empire has 1,000 troops. I don't know how we will react to this. Oh no, all of the 1,000 troops are gone. <laughs> uh, they actually have an island down here, interestingly enough. Also, I don't want to hold any of these titles, just for the record. Meaning, uh, hand them out all one by one. I mean, Jesus Christ, that's just annoying. Very annoying, in fact. Am I the Queen of Thrace? It appears that I am not the Queen of Thrace. I am now the Queen of Thrace. Weird as color, but I'll take it. Because it will mean that eventually we will be able to uh, move our capital to Constantinople. And I think that is the dream here. That is the main goal, if I'm not entirely mistaken. What is this? Oh, I don't... I'm good. You don't need a claim. No, and by the way, I do not have women's rights turned on. This is the fault. It's just, uh, it would go to a man, but we can just convert away if we need to. And we could theoretically even, like, make it so that our, you know, religion of choice just have a, has a different uh, inheritance scheme. Oh, I do not want to have... No, no, no. I'm not fighting anyone. I'm not dying right now. I'm busy. Listen, don't even at me. And as I can tell, we are not even... How many more do I need to kill you? Two more people. Hmm, I think we need to imprison some people when the time is right. Because our, you know, capture scheme doesn't quite seem to be working out. Have you ever thought about doing a grand campaign, playing as a faction from CK2 and importing saves all the way up to Hoi 4, even Stellaris? Yes, I have. And also, I haven't. Because, um, at the latest at EU4, most things become a very long blob campaign. So, like, world domination very early on isn't really my goal, but that is mostly what happens with these games. And nothing... I, I love EO4. This is not really, a, like, a game game floor. It's more like it just, like, occurs the way that it is. So, unless you do a lot of editing, where you edit the safe and whatnot, you will always run in that issue, uh, into that issue. And I mostly avoided it just by not doing it. Eventually, I think I will do it, but I don't know in what proper capacity yet. I, I do have that on my mind. I don't know, though, to which degree it would be on the channel. Hello, I have uh, conquered this province. See, my question now is... I could almost create an empire, but my question now is... Um, first of all, we need to get rid of all these... Goddamn wars. Sure, I guess. Who cares? Um, you... Oh, both of them over there. That's very convenient. We need to do some... Some work here. You can be the way you are. We shall destroy the Shia Caliphate, because we do no longer care about it. And then we shall... Let me just check here. Hello, Constantinople. I would like to become Orthodox. Thank you very much. Wait, what? No, there you go. Hello, I am now Orthodox. Um, I can't restore Byzantium? The event is no longer here. Hello, I would like to be my Fazide, I guess? Yo, the decision is just gone. Am I blind or do I have to be Catholic? 
Husband. I'm Catholic now. I know, I've gone through a lot of religions. Oh, here we go. Nope. Wait, what? Am I losing my mind? Shouldn't I be able... Is it because of my primary title? What if I change my primary title to like Egypt, for example? Wait, what? But I was Orthodox. There was there was the decision, right, to restore Byzantium. But that decision is no longer there. I could, of course, you know, like long term, do it like this. But like short term, I'm not very interested in that. Hmm. What? Why? Why did that decision go away? Is there an achievement to convert as many times as possible? God, I wish. God, I wish, but no. The, the answer is, of course, no. Why are you the, the vassal of Mecca all of a sudden? Get out of here, Mecca. Give me my vassal back. I need Medina. Uh, I need Mecca. What? Rebellious? Give me Medina, then. Oh, you don't even... You hold Medina. God damn it. I just need a holy side of the Ubadi faith so that we can call another jihad. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't care about any of these holy orders. Get out of here. Where did that decision go? I don't want to form Utremer. Get out of here. I listen, Ivan. I'm reading chat, but very slow, okay? I don't think I need to be Greek. My culture is Berber. Was that it? Oh, but I was Egypt. Uh, wasn't I? No, doesn't she start as, as Greek? Oh, but you know what? Shouldn't I be able to move my capital here now? Okay, then then I can do it. All right. I Okay, now I get it, I think. I just need to wait. We need to win these wars, and then we can go on and actually call it a day because we can move our capital over to Constantinople, which should enable us to at least look at the decision, which is the very least that I want to do. Don't even uh, really want to do anything else. Okay, you, you need to have good commanders. Just go on, destroy them. Teach him a lesson. Get him out of here. Both of them. At the same time, if possible. That's what I call successful. Thank you very much. Ah, and now... So, I was Greek. I just... I just actually genuinely did not know this. Screw Berber. Oh, what? Oh, right. It, the decision is here. Screw Berber. Being, you know, able to pillage is nice and all, but we are Greek now. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. What, what do we need to do? Duchy of Obsikion. Which one is that? This one. So if I were to break the truce here, I could do it. I could also delve into the classics and become Roman. This is such a dumb challenge. Oh, this is such a beautifully dumb challenge. So what we are going to do here is, I'm going to break the truce. Am I now? Could swear fealty, that's even dumber. No. Um. I think we're gonna break the truce here. We can easily restore the pi uh, the prestige that we lose here, I think, right? What was Armenian? There you go. Assassinate him to remove the truce? Yeah, but like it would take too long, I feel. I don't think we would be successful in doing it. Do I have anyone prisoner, by the way? No. No title holders are prisoners, that's okay. Honestly, I'm just gonna screw it. We're just gonna go for it, right? First of all, most important thing, let's delve into the classics. Ladies and gentlemen, come on now. I would like to learn, uh, what do we even learn here? Do we do Hellenic mythology? Right, we do, right? I wish to know more about these strange gods they worship. Ah, yes. Zeus, my ancestor. Uh, I think we're just gonna break truce here. Honestly, like, it, of course it hurts our prestige, but uh, if really, you know, worst comes to worst, I can just create all of these, which give us additional prestige. Even if I were to die right now, as we are Catholic, it really doesn't matter because uh, we would just inherit as him. And I don't think we're gonna die just for the record. If we do die, I mean, that's my fault, obviously, but I think we'll, we're gonna be fine here. Yeah. Oh no, Christian rulers will disrespect me. How will I ever manage? How will I ever manage? Uh, 
please. No, Ankara was actually a great to uh, target right there. Beautiful. All right, destroy him. Uh, I do want to. Once we have this empire title, I will get rid of like most of the territory that I hold. I will just hand out some kingdom tier titles because why not, right? That's the dream. Alright, let's take him down. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, beautiful. We just need to take this. Uh, we need 4,000 prestige, which I can... You know what, let's just get it. Like, right away. Let's make sure that we have it in case anything else comes. People will hate me, but... Frankly, I mean, this is not the time for caring about people hating us. Who do you think we are? Someone that has to care about the opinions of others? Are you crazy? Oh my god, don't be ridiculous. It's a shame Vanilla doesn't have a chance to return e Egypt to pre-Hellenic faith. Kematic. I agree, and I also actually agree that I would love it if we had the traditional um, Gaul faith. You know, the 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 Gallic, I guess, is the, the adject uh, adjective there. The Gallic faith. None of those exist. Hellenic exists, I mean, obviously, you know, because we have the uh, history of the Roman Empire, but it would be cool, in my opinion. Alright, let's take this down, and then let's take them down. Right over here. Beautiful. That's the dream. Oh, that's not the dream, but this is the dream. I am fascinated by the legends of the old gods. We can already become Hellenic. That is actually so ridiculous. Like, that is so dumb. Hello. <laughs> I am secretly Hellenic, guys. Now that makes sense. Why, yes. Of course. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Not ridiculous at all, by the way. If you were if you were wondering, is it ridiculous that this lady converted religion about six times or seven times already and then went on to become a Greek Hellenic? No, not ridiculous at all. Don't be so silly of thinking that these things could be ridiculous to begin with. Makes perfect sense. You just haven't... Uh... Imagine being depressed. And all of a sudden, Zeus tells you, bro, no, less. Don't be depressed. And you just stop being depressed. Isn't that the dream? Zeus is a real friend. Taught us how to no longer be depressed. Amazing. Alright, this was over. Goodbye. Hello there. I would like to restore Byzantium. That's actually so dumb. Holy crap. <laughs> this is the dumb- This is actually- When I started this stream, I knew it would be a silly campaign, but I didn't realize it would be like this. Yes. I am the leader. How did you know? Of Byzantium. Incredible, isn't it? All right, well, um, here we are. Good start, everybody. <laughs> All right, um, here we are. And that has certainly been a ride already. Uh, why don't we just come out? Hello, everybody. I'm Hellenic. How you doing, guys? How you doing? All right, uh, I would like to reform the faith, by the way. What else do I need to hold? We hold Alexandria. Athenai and Thessalonique. We can do that. Sure. You. Thessalonique is sadly within the Nicene Empire. That kind of sucks. I mean, it doesn't really suck all that much, but it does suck somewhat. And I will go on and create the kingdoms here, just so that these people stop hating me. I think that is for me personally the most important part of this. The main too big, of course. Uh, I hereby grant you Assyria. How do you feel about that? Not too good, but that's okay. Uh, Anatolia. Maybe I grant you Anatolia. Doesn't that feel good? Still a big no, huh? I create Egypt. Hello there, my friend. You are now a vice royalty. How does it feel? Ah, that feels pretty good. I knew it. Someone at some point, you know, it, it ha just had to give. Let's go. Yeah, this is a very strange campaign, but I can't say I dislike it. When I started this stream, I thought to myself, you know, we're just gonna pull off some religious shenanigans, but we won't do anything, like, too strange. I mean, you know, come on, what is this? Is this, like, a comedy channel? Absolutely not. And yet, what has happened to us? What is any of this? 
If I didn't need Hellenism so much that I want to reform it, I could also become the Ibadi Caliph, and as the Ibadi Caliph, I could just, you know, go on and uh, call another Jihad, but here we are. Okay, what are these other titles? Do I need any of them? What of this looks good? Are you still mad at me? Oh yeah, you definitely are mad at me. Hello. Please, uh, stop being mad at me. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? You also, please, stop being mad. I would highly prefer if you were not mad. Very nice. Still actually hate me though. Um, one seat on the council, domain too big. I will give out the rest of my domain, I suppose. I don't really hold this naturally or, well, personally. I hold Abydos, which is nice because I can hand it out and I can give it to someone. There you go. That is now a merchant republic. Beautiful. That is actually beautiful. And these two, I kind of want to hold on to those. I think we're going to hold on to all of these five, meaning that we will give up Adrianopolis, which I apparently have to hand out bit by bit by bit. Hello, I would like, uh, what about a nobleman? Hello there. Yes, perfect. What else? Oh, yes. There you go. Alright, five out of six, that's fine. Athens, I need to talk to you. Who are you? Wait, what? Wait, what? So, because we... Am I wrong here? Wait, what just happened? Oh my god! So, because I... Reformed the Byzantine Empire... The Allen Riders... Swore fealty to us! And also Georgia, apparently. Which is very strange, because we're not the same religion, just for the record here. So now we have these... Oh my god, this is so overpowered! This is insane! Like, that is actually way too overpowered! Jesus Christ. That is... That is a bit too much. We have the Mamluks and the Allen Riders now. Yeah, this is a very much ridiculous run, but, you know, nothing against that, of course. Uh, step out of this territory, please. Thank you very much. A sudden expulsion of several important Jewish merchants. I mean, it wasn't sudden. It happened like 10 years ago, but that's okay. The province of Cyrenaica. Wow, we did it. Egyptus as well. How did that happen? Crazy. <laughs> I would like to take Athens. Thank you very much. Right. Um, give me this and that. And let's go down to Athens. Somebody has to do it. Right. We have to sacrifice things all the time. How annoying. Stop trying to convert me. Who do you think I am, first of all? Also... Alexandria. Right, I can't actually convert. Ay, ay, ay. Who holds this? Sulanate Duchy. My friend, I need to retract a vassal of yours. I'm sorry to tell you. But it is this kid, I think. Wait, who are you? It is not actually this kid. I think it's like this kid? Sure. Listen, rebel against me, I dare you. I will destroy you. Oh, you already gave it to me. Thank you. Um... Alexandra is helped by this man, meaning that I need to revoke this. Thank you very much. I probably actually should have just waited to pass religious, but there you go. Um, thank you so much. I'd like to revoke the Mosque of Alexandria. At least I think that is the mosque that we're looking for. Indeed. Beautiful. Hello there. Mosque of Alexandria. Beautiful. There you go. Brings us up higher already. That is exactly what I was looking for. No, the thing is, I've... Wait, what? Wait, why can't I inherit... Oh, it's Imperial Elective. Just kill me. I think this game is lost. Just straight up because of Imperial Elective. Uh, would I break it if I became Muslim? I don't hold any Muslim provinces anymore. Imperial elective, as always, I mean... Hmm... 
could arrange a divorce, right? If I arrange a divorce, what does that do for me? I don't think I can marry a Muslim. Maybe I can, I mean, I don't know. Just become immortal. Alexandra, <laughs> I'm sorry. He tried to tell me. Oh no. I didn't listen. He tried to warn me. And I did not listen. Well, um... I don't regret anything, just for the record. It is what it is, right? But... The question is, how can I turn this around? That is my personal question here. How exactly do we move here to make things happen? Also, get out of here. I swear to God, Hellas. Um, let me think. If I just had one single province that is Muslim, I could convert. Meaning, we're just going to go to war with a Muslim. I'm gonna divorce this man. Yeah. I'm gonna divorce this man, I'm going to marry someone that is of the right religion, and we're gonna go from there. Sounds good to me. I think this is it. I think this is the plan. You go up there, just beat him up. Just beat up the fools uh, over here as well. Just take him out. Imagine walking towards your death. How does it feel? It does make me think. Um, what? Get out of here. I will not embrace the Lord. Are you crazy? My god. Don't be ridiculous. This is still perfectly fine. Like, actually amazingly fine. Ridiculous, sure, but still fine. Alright, look at this. I'm gonna take you out and the war for Athens, which is perfect. Do I have a truce with you? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not declaring war against someone that is uh, <laughs> in bed with the ill Are you crazy? Um, You, the Abbasids. You're the target. I just need this province. No, I need this province. Yes, Karbala. That's it. That's the spirit. Gains the city and the sheikdom. Perfect. Take him out. MP when? Uh, next week, actually. I thought we would do it di uh, this week, but then I was like, eh, let's just do it next week. Perfect. Hellas is ours, and uh, that's a good thing. Although, I do need to take away your title. Thank you very much. There you go. And we are sitting at 21. Infidels, Rebels, Crushed, Lentini, and Edessa. Right, so... One, two, three. Yeah, Thessalonica. Ah, you know, wouldn't it be nice? The Holy Roman Empire holds this. We could theoretically take them down. I'm certain that we could, but... Man, that's a big war. That I'm not sure I want to fight. If, if he wasn't in power anymore, we could do something about this. But you know what, let's just wait for this for the moment. My main question is, if I once turn to Imperial, uh, to Author, no. If I once turn to Sunni. And get rid of Imperial Elective. If I were to convert back, I think it just goes to Gavelkind, doesn't it? Wait, what? Oh, he <laughs> he's Orthodox. Oh my god, look at this dude! It's insane. Okay, you are dead, sorry to tell you. We are now at silver. I think we need one more. We need one more indeed, okay. We can do that. Honestly, I can't believe just how ridiculous all of this is. I love it, but my god. It was 68 minutes ago that you did a restart. When will be the next one? Also, banish the preachers. Get out of my country, I swear to God. We are Hellenic here. I love that the Allen Riders, Orthodox, were like, hell yeah, we're swearing fealty to you. <laughs> you have nothing in common with the old Byzantine Empire, but here we are. Somebody has to do it. Here you go. Easy. Alright, with Karbala in our hands, I should be able to get rid of Imperial Elective, right? Alright, and now tell me, 
I'm Sunni. And I shall convert now to your religion. Wait a minute. Oh no, despite being Sunni, it stays. Ah, oh, no. I really thought it wouldn't stay. Yeah, this may be a dead run. I'll be honest with you. Unless, unless... What if... The Arabian Empire, right? What is it? Cannot create empires. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, this is this is over. Like, I, I the thing is, and I just want to point this out. I never really intended to go for hieroglyphics because it's 80 family members. It's so many. We're never going to reach that in one live stream, right? But I still would have liked to have this be like a thing where we could say we could play it further, but we just don't. But instead, we are in a situation where I can't play it any further. I mean, that's just ridiculous. All right, back to Hellenic then. That was a complete failure. That entire plan was nonsense. Why did nobody tell me? I don't want to be dethroned in Byzantium. Are you crazy? Oh, what? Uh, does religious reformation law override the Byzantine inheritance law? Because I don't think it does. God, that would be great, but I don't think it does, no. So that sucks. Ay ay ay. Yeah, that sucks a lot. Um we hope this this is fine. This will just go against the HRE, dude. I don't I don't really know. Holy Roman Empire. Oh my god. Yeah, they're being shredded. All right. Uh, if, you know, if we ever were to declare a war against them, I think it is right now. Yeah, it's uh, Syracuse. Cool. Man, this is such a straight playthrough. Uh, such a strange playthrough. Syracuse, hello there. You are now mine. Or, well, you are going to be. In no time at all. Aiden, welcome to the stream and thank you. For the 20 Swedish crowns. I don't know how the, uh, by the way, how I can like speed up the fact that... I may be a bit late, but I am here. Exactly. The fact that this damn TTS is so slow. I need to be to be quicker, but I don't know how to speed it up. My my apologies. But hey, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Uh, it has been a very strange s s stream. I mean... If you, uh, you know, we did start. So we did start as uh, Shajar al-Dur in Egypt and we are the Byzantine Empire now and I think this game is like practically over because I ruined it I ruined it my god why would I ruin it like this nobody knows and yet I did it No heir of my dynasty. Where's this, where's this fella? You. Wait, you're not my relative. Where's my relative? Where the hell is my relative? You? Yeah. Right. Um, my friend. Give me this man. Okay. Yeah, this is a dead run. And when I say a dead run, what I mean is... This run is over, as in we will fail to get this one. But we will get everything else. And also, he just delivered a free kill. This is it. Yeah, Tutan Kadum. This one is the last one we don't have, and honestly, we're not gonna get it. Let's just try to reform Hellenic before all of this ends in tears. Let's just try that, okay? That is that is all I'm asking for. Cannot create empires. Oh, that sucks so much, man. I would have to be deposed. And even then, it's not worth it. Because we wouldn't keep any of the vice royalties formerly handed or well, formerly owned by us. We wouldn't get any of those back. I still enjoyed it, but my god, I now regret it so much.
See, I could become Satanist, but I don't think we would be there in time. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, if I reform, I could become Satanist, but I don't think we would, we would do it in time. What a wonderfully- oh, wait, what? What just- wait, what? Wait, what just happened? Why is he eligible now? Oh, he's eligible now. I think because he's my direct vassal. Hey, everything's fixed. Fuck it. I was always happy about this situation, didn't you know? My god, how dare you ever doubt me? <laughs> oh, I got Anatolia back, huh? Um, I mean... Wait, what? Huh. First of all... I guess I'll... Hand out Anatolia again? Hey, my relative. You're now the king of Anatolia, how does it feel? Yeah, okay. Well... Um... I don't know how, but... Take it. You know, you're not supposed to complain about this sort of stuff. I certainly won't. I will never embrace the Lord. Get out of my country, I swear to God. Who let these people in? I, I'll be honest with you. I have seen a lot of things in my life and in playing Crusader Kings 2, but I do not know why all of a sudden he's still the wrong religion, wrong culture, wrong everything. I do not know why he all of a sudden is eligible, but he is. I'll take that. I, listen, hey, it was literally a coordinated effort. I, it was merely an act. I acted as though I was concerned when in truth, I <laughs> definitely knew the entire time what I was doing. Holy shit, I do not know why this happened, but I am more than thankful. And also beat up these rebellions, please. Get out of here. Yeah, no idea, but you know what? Not complaining. Absolutely not complaining. We're taking Syracuse here. Dude, honestly, I never understood Imperial Elective properly, I'll be honest with you. I have no idea. Where do all these priests come from? Please, stay out of my country. Venice, I will defeat you. If you ever come back, I will destroy you. Another Orthodox uprising, huh? Well, not for long. Perfect. Do you want to peace out? No. Well, soon you want to. Promise you. Yeah, I have no idea what happened there, but you know what? Take it. I can actually continue this playthrough. <laughs> Alright, enforced demands. Thank you very much. I love holding Syracuse. I need this temple, though. Beautiful. 30%. Um, 35, I guess. Edessa. Huh? Yeah, Thessalonica. Oh, it's a new emperor, you fool. You absolute idiot. You just died and gave me your land for free. Who could have known? Um, I need to go for Thessalonique, though. Okay. Beautiful. Actually amazing. Everything is coming out better than intended. But we are losing a boatload of money, of course. Um, I think we have, like... Why am I losing this much money? Shouldn't be losing this much money. Why am I losing this much money? Wait a minute. What am I paying for? Mercenaries? Excuse me? Wait. I have these. I need to get rid of any... Am I blind? Oh, I lost access to whatever other mercenaries I have raised because I moved my capital. I think that is what happened here. It usually is. The Berber Company. And the Tuareg. All of these, actually. <laughs> Literally all of these. <laughs> Get out of here. Don't ever talk to me again. Alright, we did it. We're no longer throwing money out of the window. Amazing. Just joined. Why is OPB already Byzantine Emperor? Well... Nobody actually knows. Just happened. I swear to god, dude. Venice, you will suffer for this. I- What? Get out of, get out of here! My man. Also, uh, martial education yet, yeah, I definitely don't have that. Uh, before I declared this war, I should have con- Oh, I could not have converted him, I'm an idiot. That's okay. Also, I have too much land. Why? 
I do not desire holding this. You, hello there. I would like to give you Kabbalah. Okay. What else? Ah, Syracuse, right? Wait, no, that can't be it. 8 out of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, Athens! I actually like to keep that though, you know what? Let's just ignore that we are over the limit, don't worry about it. Hellenism must rule supreme. I gotta ask at this point, right? What's up with Venice? Why is Venice doing this? You're dead, kiddo. Get out, get out of here. I don't, I don't know what they're thinking. But it's definitely not something that makes sense. What is this? How are they even allowed to do this? How are they allowed to send me this many people? Ah, uh, we got Egypt back. Hmm. Uh, you seem fine. There he goes. There he goes. Alright, we are sitting at 30. Alexa, excuse me, did you just retake Alexa? Ugh. It, oh no, I kept the mosque under my personal supervision. So we lost 5% there. That really is. That, that sucks. That's really dumb. That was my bad. Venice, please. Please, please, just stop. Stop sending these people. It's not gonna work. Not today, not tomorrow, not in a million years. If I dedicate a temple, does that... Does that give me moral authority? I don't think it does. Uh, God of War, I guess? Yeah, it does not... Give me more authority. That sucks. I I need more authority. Do we need 40 or 50? We need 50%. My dude. It's too much. We're still... I don't. Ah, what do you do here? How do I gain the moral authority that we require? Hmm... You destroyed the Latin Empire. They are now salty. Oh, dude. Look at this. What the fuck is this? Just stop sending me these priests. Every month, they're sending me a new priest to imprison. What did they mean by this? Fabricated claim on Venice. You know what? I mean, our Chancellor isn't really doing much other than this, is he? So, uh... Sure. I guess I could convert provinces and like that would be enough to do it, but if I were of a culture that can plunder, Arabia just came back to us, okay, um, I guess you, still hates me though, my god, he's zealous, of course he is, ah, uh, what can you do? We're going to take Thessalonique, right? And that's going to push us up to at least 35. If I could plunder, I could easily uh, easily plunder some temples doing it. Other than that, I probably have to rely on county conquests, as dumb as it sounds. And thank you, Venice, for another prisoner. Really appreciate it. That makes uh, a whole lot of sense. You would do that. I mean, that's just amazing. Skill. Everything. Really. Incredible. Want to give up? No. As well has gone mad. The Venetians keep sending us people and and wait, what? Yes, this is good. Thank you. I guess. Right, I was worried that our inheritance spooked out, but it did not. Eighty-four percent. Would you like to surrender? Apparently not. I am no longer possessed. I am a wise woman. And also, um... He's of the wrong... Let me recruit these debutants. The 
already has three wives. I'm just worrying that we would lose the Hellenic religion with him, but I think we'd be fine. Because he could potentially just take another wife and make it happen. Assyria fell to us again, okay. That's fine. Uh, you are not religious, very nice. Come on, just finish it. 93. Still something to besiege. Are you joking? Arabia came back to us yet again. Well, um, he's also zealous. Let's not do that. He's a child. Sure. Oh. Why not? Yeah, I should change my culture and rate. I agree. And you know what? Hello there. Ooh, I would have to, okay. Other raiding cultures, right? Berbers can raid. I think Bedouin. Can't Bedouins raid? I swear to God. Apparently not. Um, Turks can definitely raid. Yeah. Infidel neighbors. And neighbors would honestly be enough at this point. Meaning, I am so, so sorry, but you are my heir, so you actually have no right to complain. I need a title. Uh, I need to retract a vassal, I guess? Sure. Works, it works, right? Um... Cappadocia? I think so. Yeah, Cappadocia. We're going to become Turkish, because he is also Turkish. Why not? Or, I, listen, I'm sorry, I don't do this on purpose. I'm doing it because somebody has to do it. And I have to make it my capital. I can't make it my capital. Oh no. I can't actually culture convert. It's, it, it's not my capital. I can't, I literally can't do it. Unless I were to create another empire, which I physically cannot do. No, I can't actually even do it. I, I straight up can't do it because it would have to buy my capital, but I can't move my capital because we moved it so recently. So let's ponder this more deeply, dude. Whatever you say. Um, we're going to change our focus here to hunting so that I may yet live a bit longer. Venice, please stop. You're sending a cardinal. Out of all the people that you can send, just stop, please. My god. Oh no, somebody's fabricated a claim against me. How horrible. How may I resist this? Yeah, nobody knows, buddy. Um, thank you. I need this temple, though. Goodbye. Oh, look at that. Open China uh, frowns upon Latin Iberian cultures, but he likes Christians. Well, we are neither of those. Uh, 40. We are at 40. That is really good. That's so good. Hello, Rome. Can't attack him. Uh, can't move my capital uh, in 521 months. I mean, that's just not realistic here. Hmm. I guess it's county conquests. I mean, I don't really see any other any other option. If I do a county conquest, we get 1% moral authority every time we win a war. Is there any other thing that I could do? What I can do, and I, I think 100% what I have to do. Yes, give me the Mosque of Alexandria. If you rebel, I will kill you. Yeah, that's right. Didn't think so. We're at 45. We need five wars. Just five wars. That is doable. That is very much doable. Armenia. You're not even in Armenia. This is not Armenia. In any way. At least he is Armenian, I guess. That's a good start. You know what? Good for you. Good for you. Um, why don't we conquer this? You know, actually, I can't even... Oh, there it is. Teluch. I would like to conquer you. I guess we're gonna go Conquest Wars, and you know what? We're gonna go two Conquest Wars at a time. Conquest of Thessalia. Thank you, and thank you.
Take him out, guys. Fine. Now, this could be a harsh fight. I'll be on. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want my air to die. Get out of here. This could be a difficult fight. Nope, it's not a difficult fight at all. I'll take it all back. It was a very easy fight, and the enemy is uh, just a bunch of nerds. Never the chance, yada, yada. Uh, let's take this down and then attack them. Get out of here. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. I wish dedicating a temple would make it so that, you know, I can get additional... Oh my god, very close. Oh my god, we might lose this? No! We lost it! Ay ay ay! Could have seen that coming. I didn't see it coming. Go on. Well, happens. Can you do, really? Good for you, Theodora. Converted. That's a bad battle right here, but honestly, who cares? All things considered, we will still smite them. I don't mind losing a couple of people. I mean, you know, that's just... I'm, I'm the Roman Empress, right? What's the big deal here? It's all the same to me. There we go. How many people can be at 23,000? That's fine. All of you just get over here, siege that down ASAP. Beautiful. What culture was the great Shajar Aldur, the restorer of the Roman Empire? Teacher? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Which religion was she? Every religion. Bulgaria, please. Did you learn nothing from Venice? Did Venice not tell you about the way we treat their priests? I gotta I gotta ask. That's just a bit strange, don't you think? News from China, whatever, bro. Don't worry about it. Alright, you know. This is going well. I mean all the attrition is not that great, but. Honestly, I don't really care. Alright, Armenia is over. Thank you, Armenia. I appreciate it. Um, I guess, like, you get the title? Oh, there you go. Have fun with it. Um, this was almost over. Sadly, only almost. Okay. Can't fully get rid of it yet. I think this is perfectly doable. Like, 100% doable. I need you guys to tell me already. What should we make this? When it comes to uh, religion. What exactly shall we uh, convert it to? Or reform it to? I always say convert it to, but that is, of course, not really correct. Oh. Um, an independence faction. Excuse me? That's pretty threatening. I think we may lose this. 63... Uh, 36,000. Ah, yes. Uh, this is bad. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Well. Well, well. Well, well, well. If I just get a white piece here, that would be fine. But I hate when they rebel. The Byzantine Empire is always just rebellion after rebellion after rebellion. Fire some. Let's try to take them out in the best possible way here. There's a 5k more coming, which is of course quite threatening, but... You gotta take what you can, right? Yeah, we got him. Get him. Wait, why did- oh, because we didn't occupy anything, that's why we are in the negative here. That's fine. Th this is actually fine. M believe it or not, this is very much fine. Oh wow, thanks for the uh, free troops. Don't really care for them. But I will take them. How could I not? Can I assault this? Yes. And is that enough for a white piece? No. Well, in that case, uh, we're gonna push this towards an absolute victory. This is why, and, and I mean back in the day, I, I will tell you, I played with uh, Defensive Pacts on, 
But I was so sick of CK2 after I finished my Rome campaign, my SPQR, you know, achievement campaign. This is why. There's just rebellions after rebellions, and you can't lose any of them. You will win every single one of them, and yet... They keep rebelling and rebelling and rebelling and rebelling and rebelling. Uh, why don't you take just, you know, just take Athens and like all the other stuff. It's nice to have a big priest, I guess. Thessalonique as well, thank you very much. There you go. You're a big guy. Ooh, and look at you. Oh, they're actually coming. God, that's ridiculous. Um... Mm -mm. In Edessa on the 22nd. I don't think they're already movement locked. I think it's lying to us. No, they are now. Okay. Go get them, guys. Easy. Oh, it, yeah. well, we didn't need commanders, I guess. And as you can see, we indeed did not need commanders. Oh, no. An independence rebellion. What shall I do? How difficult indeed. Yes. All right. Do you take a white piece? Because I really don't care for more. Yeah, I think a white piece is fine, dude, honestly. Good. I cannot say that I care for doing more than that. Alright, you are... Uh, yeah, definitely don't want to go to war with you, on the other hand. I do want to go to war with. I would like Alexandretta just because it is so close. Can I have another war? Corinthos. Oh, look at this. This is the dream. Hell yeah. Wait, what? Oh, accidentally wiped my enemies. Could have known. Venice, please, stop. Seize this activity. An innocent proposal. One day in the Imperial Palace, while surrounded by shouting advisors, waving decrees and edicts that demand your signature, a small man approaches, claiming to be a representative of the Venetois, the Blues, one of the two major char chariot teams racing in Constantinople. They no longer have the political influence they enjoyed in the days of Justinian the Great, but they are still popular with the broad masses. You wave your advisors away and decide to hear him out. The man introduces himself as Anaximandros and explains that he has a proposal for you. If you race for the Blues in the Grand Chariot race next week, he and his associates will make certain you win. You both stand to gain from this, with a glorious Basilisa winning, uh, winning as a champion of the Great Blue Team. See, the thing is, I would say yes, if their name wasn't Venetois. I would just say no. Can you ever get a surrender before 99% in your favor? You should check out the campaign. Ah, oh, which campaign was that? Fuck. Um, the campaign... YouTube, wait a minute. There's a campaign that I did where the AI was absolutely brain dead. They surrendered at like 30%? Something like that anyway. Was it Pavo? No, it was Wessex! Oh my god, if you haven't seen the Ten Thrones campaign, first of all, that one is amazing because it is so ridiculous. Like, it's actually wild just how insane it is, but also, it is insane that the AI gave up at about, what, 30%? Absolutely wild. I would, I would definitely implore you to watch it. Ben is get out of here. It's a great campaign, but also on top of that, of course, it is absolutely ridiculous that they surrendered at such a low chance. Ten Thrones, I will tell you this, this much. Ten Thrones was an amazing campaign because, like, later on, because the AI was just so dumb, they couldn't keep their kingdoms together. So you need to have Ten Thrones with, like, at least 25 realm size under control of your dynasty. And I made it a special rule where I went on to only, you know, hold one kingdom. And that was the custom kingdom of Wessex, uh, Wessex which is southwest of England, of course. The thing about it was that... In the end, I had to hold a bit more because the AI was so dumb that I, you know, actually had to take control or they would constantly lose everything. But it was difficult because I never had a big army. It always was very splintered. And there was one war that was insane. I should not have won it. The AI surrendered. I will always take it. I will always be thankful to the AI. You know, what can I say? But my God, they should not have given up. That was absolutely wild. The way they just let it go. They just were like, ah, oh, might as well let it slip, I guess. I will always be thankful. That was absolutely undeserved, and yet I will not complain. 
absolutely will never complain about it. Oh, if I beat up this army, this might actually be it. Why are these boats here? Get out of here. Do we have any other boats raised? Get them out of here, oh my god. This might seal the deal with Akaya. Not quite, but close. This should seal the deal on the other hand, if you just see that down. We are going to rev- Oh, we only had 46, don't do this to me. Why do I need so many wars game? Hello there, Latin Empire. No, I don't want a de jure claim, that's lame. You! Maybe. Bulgaria? Hmm. Do I not have any easier single county wars anywhere? Can I do anything to further this? I mean, this doesn't change anything, but I'm a Capricorn, everybody! Amazing! Wow. <laughs> Truly great! Who could have known? Um, what do we do here? I don't want to go to war. Maybe I do want to go to war with Venice, honestly. Venice. Only do Methone. Hmm. I mean, I suppose so, right? Oh, Cy uh, Cyprus is a member of the Holy Roman Empire. What? Antioch? Yes. Hello there. Absolutely. Beautiful. Okay. You can do this. Um, do we have anyone else? You know what? Let's just take the boats. Boats? Not enough. Enough. I am a poet! Beautiful. Wow. Also, apparently there's a, an issue in Constantinople with health, but what can you do? Please. Why can't I? Oh, right. Very smart. It keeps sieging him. Come on, I want to do this before I die, please. Don't do me dirty like this. I'm gonna lose as many men as necessary, you hear me? You think I have any moral qualms? I don't, I don't, I don't care. Just, I'm a, I'm a goddess, almost. Close enough, I guess. 100%, this one is over. Eat. Got him. 48. 48. What do I do here? The Abbasids? Oh, hell yeah. Um, yes, thank you. Ah, uh, yes, I will beat you up. How did you know? Impressive. Venetian Creed. OPB is Stalin confirmed. I mean, hey, you know, I'm just doing what is necessary. Also, uh, I will not become Muslim, thank you for asking, though I do appreciate the concern. I think I'm just gonna assault this. It costs a lot of people, but this is over. Oh, we're so close, guys! Please! 50, we are at 50, wait a minute. We are at 50? Let's go, okay. What are we gonna do here? Give me, give me any. Give me anything. Tell me anything at all. Let's start with the nature. What are we doing? What are we doing? C rating. Like that idea. Unyielding. Deletizing. I will say, of course, right? Cosmopolitan fits Hellenic most. But I will also tell you, it sucks. Cosm Cosmopolitan is pretty bad. Because it will just lead to like a million uh, invisible cults in your realm. I see one unyielding, I see some peaceful, but I also see multiple people say, uh, saying proselytizing. Let's go with proselytizing. We're gonna tell people about Zeus, okay? What, what does civilized do exactly? Air designation. Rulers can choose to gain sympathy with another. See, the air designation. <laughs> and the sympathy. This is so dumb. It makes sense, law-wise, 
to say Hellenic rulers would be tolerant of other faiths, so you can gain sympathy to other faiths, but if you do it, it just makes you very, very open to cults in your realm, because everybody will be like, oh, I, I have a sympathy, uh, sympathy to Catholicism. Oh, this cult tries to recruit me? That's cool. Hell yeah, let's join. So I think we're not going to do civilized, I'll be honest with you. I would like a netic clans. I would actually like that, but I don't think we could do it. Like, would I, would I just lose? <laughs> would I just lose after this? We could do equality. Equality is actually nice, I guess. Yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. Uh, where even is it? Yeah, you know what? Let's do equality. I like that, actually. That's, that's a good idea. What's the second one? We could do Seabound. We could do Seabound. Meritocracy and poly uh, polygamy? Pyramids. <laughs> <laughs> Polygamy, I mean, it could be cool. Rebound? I wish, you know, honestly, I kind of regret that, like, in Bronze Man, you can't have the mod that allows you to have, like, four doctrines. Ugh. Oh, we could do polygamy, we could do Seabound, we could do so many. You know what? Whenever I play this game, we always do Seabound. We always do raiding every single time. Let's just not do Seabound this time around, okay? Let's just do polygamy. You know, what's the problem? I mean, right? Oh, you know what? Actually, let's do pyramids. And I will do temporal because I'm not insane. Hell yeah, brother. It's done. Let's go! Oh, is this dumb. I love it. <laughs> I really do. For Hephaestus, everybody. Hello there. Um, right, I can't actually do this. Oh, doesn't this break? Ah, uh, I just remembered everything about the ERE, yeah. Oh, this is so bad. Ah, uh, you'll see why I hate this in a second. You know what, hey, do you wanna just peace out, bro? No? Come on now, I'm not gonna surrender to you. Are you insane? The pond. <sighs> this is so dumb. The Collegium Pontificium breaks the East Roman succession. Maybe we can reload? Okay, let me just... Where's my... Where's my... Relative? You. I'm gonna grant you whatever, dude. I don't, I don't actually care. Iris? I'm gonna make him like me, we're gonna try to convert him, and then we're gonna see if we can't actually make him our heir still once he is converted, but... I have had bad, bad experiences with this. I've never actually built pyramids. I have built pyramids. Um, as the Saxons, actually. It's okay. <laughs> sure, we are now close friends, I guess. Alright, let's take down Al Najaf. Somebody has to do it. I can't just hold it up. I have a fever. If I die right now and the game ends, I'm gonna end the stream. I swear to god, don't you do it. Don't you do it! Thank you. I swear to god, don't you kill me. What is? What are they doing? They're having a stroke. They are having a stroke. Let's create the Myrmidons. Nice. Hmm. I mean, we could do this. Sure. Bacchans in the woods. Believed to be vanquished for centuries, the mad followers of Bacchus have resurfaced, spreading their grotesque beliefs throughout civilized lands. This is an insane campaign. Shajar al-Dur is not what she was historically, but she's crazy. Crazy good. Without a doubt, look at this. Absorb life force. Oh my god! Uh, what do I need for this? Oh my god, why can't I do this on myself? Please. Dark healing? I mean, I guess. Hell yeah, brother. Wait. Wait, what do you mean? She didn't even heal it. Oh, come on. She didn't even heal it. I think I did it too early before the actual uh, sickness set in. But I cannot... 
for the life of me, unholy impregnate myself. Why? Unlucky. Unlucky. Did you ever do a proper dynastic series? Um, what exactly do you mean by that? So like... I did some long series, the SPQR one I think was like 500 years straight up? From 769 until like 1200 or something? Um... Proper dynastic series. What were the other long series? That I, did? I did some long series, but... It depends on what you mean as proper dynastic. Spreading your dynasty. I mean, Ten Thrones. Watch if you if it's about spreading your dynasties. Watch Ten Thrones. I, I did nothing but spread my dynasties there, and it hurt on a on a deep personal level. Do it, but I, yet I did it. Also, is this a rebel? Oh my god, why am I even sieging you down? Range. I just siege down his top holding. I guess he's in, in open I didn't even get wall score for this. Are you crazy? Give me the wall score. My god. What is this? What the hell? Oh, really? Hmm. I mean, I really just want this war to end. I actually do not want to conquer this. Please, just let me peace out. Oh my god, what is this? No, I don't like this at all. No, don't do it! Okay, you know what? Don't actually go down there. Alright, this will be a difficult fight. Unless... Aha! Amazing. Alright, so far so good. Um, you. Tell me about it. Thank you. Who else? What titles do I hold? Uh, you. Thank you. You? Nope, apparently not. What about uh, I grant you a random title that nobody actually cares about? I don't even know where that is. Ah, this one. Sure, you know what? Screw it. Not like I actually need it. Well, that was a lot of money that I did not have. Right, a lot of people converting. I, I love, I love it. What can I say? Assyria can now also convert. Beautiful. Hello there. Uh, yeah, nice. You. Hell yeah. Gorgeous. Can I do it? Yes. Alright, we're safe. This is actually like a victory campaign. What can I tell you? Look at this nonsense. Byzantine Empire. 20 years in. Hellenic faith reformed. You too old, honey. <laughs> God damn it. After the end is a great mod. I hope that you guys are having a lot of fun. That everyone is having a lot of fun with it. It is great. It's such a good mod. Um, I just noticed. I actually said this on the, on the Discord like yesterday. I only noticed yesterday that the Great Lakes are practically what the Holy Land is. You know, the Ursulines invaded. The Angelics, the Catholics... Uh, the the Jews even the the Muslims any kinds of Muslims actually invaded like both the Ishmaelites and uh, not the Ishmaelites the what are they called the uh, Imamites that's what the Imamites and the Orientalists and the, uh, the traditionalists all of them invade the Great Lakes because it is practically like the uh, Holy Land it's very cool it is really really cool I love that idea and by the way look at this we're still friends with this guy we betrayed Christianity and yet he's like yeah you're cool what's the big deal. I don't know, you tell me, buddy. Um, but yeah, no, it's a very cool mod. I hope that you got, uh, that everyone here is having fun. Someone from Indiana, I love the migration to Gary. <laughs> it actually gets even better. Um, so the episode is now live, but you know, obviously nobody's seen it because it's only been live for two minutes. Um, what do you guys think? Should I convert to Rust Cultism or to Norse? We can do either of those, realistically speaking. And we can also reform either of those, realistically speaking. Also, by the way, look at this nonsense. My god. But yeah, I mean... We're just looking for more dynasty members, right? That's like the only requirement that we have at this point. Everything else is done successfully. Oh man, he was murdered? Why would you ever betroth him? Normally?
Not like this. Seriously? Has a contagious disease, I'm so sorry. Why are they all having contagious- oh, they're all mnemonic, huh? <laughs> Rust cultist, uh, cultist sounds so damn cool. It is a very cool heresy. They actually came up with a lot of really cool stuff for the mod. I gotta give it to them. Stoic intelligentsia. We can't even do the bit. We're just not smart enough. Ooh, but we could be. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We could form that as well. Now, I can't do an unholy impregnation, which of course sucks, but... I mean, you know, we can do so much more. I guess we'll summon a familiar. Me learning, please. And this should enable me, if I'm not mistaken here, right? So, I just did give me learning. And if I'm not mistaken, if I lo leave this... Yes, if I leave the society, I can create the Stoic Intelligentsia. And I mean, that's really everything there is to it, right? Look at this. <laughs> that is so dumb. We just, we did so much in this single life. Pontifex Maxima Shaja Aldur the Lionheart is actually amazing. Oh my god, she is outrageous. Civilized province. Yeah, that's the dream. They're all Greek already anyway. Can I do it to things that I don't ho don't hold directly? I can. Ah. Oh, but the problem is I can't be of that culture. I see how it is. So, for example, here, right? Oh, yeah. You're Greek now, my friends. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Absolutely ridiculous, but absolutely amazing as well. Um, you know what? Just hand out titles randomly. I don't care. What's the rust called? So, um, essentially, imagine the rust belt, right? The old... Wait, what? The old regions of, uh, The car manufacturing area in the United States that, of course, still exist, but have been deteriorating for a bit for quite some time. And now imagine those factories being there after the apocalypse has happened. None of the people that find those factories know what they were for, they just know they were gigantic things. Impressive! And we now pray to them. That is rust cultists. Also, I have a uh, consumption. That's pretty bad. Well, I don't know. You know, I'm looking at this, and I'm I'm just Alif Al Hakim. Hakim has appeared. Hakim the Spider. Um, not just dominating in the channels of uh, suggestions on the Discord. Also dominating by simply existing. Impressive. Very impressive. Well, this certainly was one of the weirdest runs I've ever had. My ambition was to like maybe form like the, I don't know, Ara uh, Arabian Empire or something. Instead we did this. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm ready. Oh, Venice, you don't know what's coming for you. I am ready. We're going to take down Venice. This is it. I kind of think there should be an Amazonian society. I do agree, and I genuinely think that there should be more flavor for uh, even more regions. But that is easier said than done. I'll, I'll you know, there could be much more flavor. But uh, flavor, flavor, flavor. But you know, it is what it is at the moment, and it is already pretty good, I suppose. You, you always kind of have to take a look at you know what it is and what it could be in two different positions. Wait, what? Where are the Mamluks? Where did you spawn in? Wait, wait. Why did they spawn in down here? Hmm. No, I have no idea. But what I do know is that we shall now take Venice. It's time. They're no longer sending priests to us because that time is, of course, over. But it's not going to get any better for th uh, better for them from here. My my. Time to teach Venice a lesson. Can the Mamluks rebel if they are my, uh, my vassals? I don't think they can, right? I did run out of money, but I don't think they can rebel. Thank you for giving me Egypt, you idiot. 
How does it feel? Um, you don't necessarily hate me, but you're a child. Don't really care for it. All of your children. What happened? The hell happened down here? Uh, Egypt. You shall have it, and then I shall convert you. Really, I thought, let's do this stream and show people how to easily do this challenge. And instead, I, I, I showed how to easily reform the Byzantine Empire. I'm still going to miss all the madness and fun times in CK3. They are taking it out. And I... Uh, what? Wait, what? Damn, this dude is balls. What a war to declare. Out of all the wars he could have declared, what a war to declare. And wait a minute. He just died. Meaning... We might be in trouble here. Uh, do they have to be grown up? I'm hereby... Granting you... Wait, who did this fall to? Okay, I'm hereby granting you, my dear friend. This one, sure. Whatever you say, buddy. And then I'm gonna grant you this vice royalty. Can I vote for you? No. Oh, this is real bad. You just lost your titles? Are you out of your mind? What happened here? And now I can't vote for him anymore. Come on now. How did he even lose his... What? How the hell did he lose his titles? I thought he died. Inherited? What? What even happened here? I sometimes I sometimes see this where people inherit titles of people that are not dead or ineligible. It just I don't know. It just happens. Um I guess so they give you Syracuse or something? I have no idea. It doesn't look like I can vote for him. Yeah, you know, I have no idea. Ineligible, apparently. Sometimes you just don't need an answer. Whatever, bro. I'm not gonna help you, just for the record, but that's fine. If we could go against Hakim directly, but I don't even know why he has the balls to declare against us. That's just ridiculous. Faction demand made him resign. Why does that make him ineligible for the ERE anyway? Would he still be viable for this? What if I announce him... Uh, what if I make him into a commander? Which, if I'm not mistaken here... No, he isn't, because uh, he's not at my court, actually. Oh, no, he should be. Okay, wait a minute. Let me just get rid of, like, this dude, for example. If he's a commander, shouldn't that all of a sudden make him viable? I haven't played as the ERE in a long, long time. You, right? Not viable. I don't know. Oh, s viable. Okay, commander did it. There you go. That's f You honestly don't care. I'm not asking any more questions. I take what I can. This is it. A rebellion happened, but they didn't kill him. Yeah, I guess they, they just, like, took over. When is CK3 coming out? I am hoping for fall, but I do also think it's going to come out in the winter, yeah. I think winter is the most likely one out of all the possible scenarios. And Khalifa Hakim makes exactly as uh, bad of a decision here as the real Hakim does constantly in the live streams. Have to get treat uh, treated. Why would you do this to me? Jenglun. Oh, why would you do this to me, my friend? God damn it. Who are you? 
Anri. Yes, you deserve a good name. The fairest of Constantinople. That's right. Ah, okay, yeah, that, I should not have done that. Huh? I think my I think my heir just got murdered in a battle. Yeah, he did. I shouldn't. Wait, this was not my battle? Oh, it was my battle. I should not have had them there. I listen, I let me tell you. I am fully aware. Should not have done that. Um hello there. Can I name you like yeah, Kaiser, there you go. That's the that's the spirit. Still can't Still can't do this, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's difficult. I think we're gonna die here before all of this is over. And I just made a critical mistake by letting him die. But you know what? What is any of this worth unless you risk things for no reason whatsoever? Why even play this game if you don't throw away your success and your luck whenever you can? Why even play? I mean, don't be ridiculous. Why would anyone play this game? Wait, did I hand this out as a proper title? No, it's a vice royalty. Okay, very nice. Hmm. I shall teach this child a virtue. Why, yes, you have learned to be humble. Exarch Alp Aslan. <laughs> what a name. You are now the Zebastos. Hope it helps. All that to make him the arrogant and then he just dies. One could say that him dying was my fault, but let's not say that. Let's say it was his fault. Alright, there you go. Let me just let me just survive just for a bit, okay? He surrenders. Venice has annoyed us for far too long. Venice itself is now ours. And that is the dream. Oh, that is the dream. Let's create another Merchant Republic here, though. I don't really think we can do that, at least not with County of Venezia itself. But if I were to create a different duchy, I could definitely do it. Oh no, I can create the Duchy of Venice, I don't even hold it! Well... See, what now? What now, I ask you? First of all... This is in the first time in my entire life that I have seen a Merchant Republic led by a woman. Because otherwise it is impossible. But who wins? Is it the Merchant Republic of Venice? In Crete? Or the Merchant Republic of Venice? In Venice? Two hot competitors. Just got the SPQR achievement as episodes. Congratulations! I hope you played with defensive pacts off. It was very tiresome for me playing with defensive packs on. I hated it. Also, what the hell is this? Oh, they are re-inheriting their damn uh, Crusader titles. I, I see what it is. Right, so far so good. What, what is this down here? For you. No, I'm not dealing with this. All right, look at this. Beautiful. Venice has fallen. Honestly, I think we're just gonna do another stream tomorrow. And we're gonna... Excuse me, he's old Hellenic. And we're gonna do... What? And I think we're just gonna do the other... The other challenge. So, uh, the Harald Hadrade challenge. I wanna see what it is. I do not need another claim on Venice, but thank you. I appreciate your commitment to the idea of me owning the entire world. Hope! How can I defeat you? I sometimes do think OPB has more hubris. Listen. Sometimes you just gotta have some confidence, okay? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta know that you will win. I gotta be honest with you. I wanted to end the stream at 9pm. 
But with all being said, I think we're gonna end it unironically. I know, it's so sudden. But I think we're gonna end it here. I can't believe, but we have a stable realm. Uh, if I lived long enough, we would definitely inherit as that kid. And even if we don't, I think we would easily win with all the money that we have in the bank and him getting a claim on the Byzantine Empire to begin with. I think I'm going to end it here because everything that I wanted to do in this challenge, which was exactly these two, this one not really because 80 family members is just so long, I think we're just straight up going to end it. And tomorrow we will be back with Harald Hadrada. I think tomorrow, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do yet another. Please answer before you leave. Wait one minute. How did you become the Byzantine Emperor? So, what we did. Let's just sum this up because this was an insane 23 years. We we've only been here for 23 years. What we did was, we essentially went on to convert to Catholicism. Use the Crusade, and I gotta actually. I'm literally closing my eyes so that I can conceptualize all of this, visualize in front of my mind's eye, right? We became Catholic, we participated in the crusade for Asia Minor, we took Asia Minor for ourselves, we became the Sunni Khalifa, no, we became the Shia Khalifa, declared a jihad for Thrace, took Thrace, moved our capital over to Constantinople, declared a duchy war for Obsinokion, or whatever it's called, I, I already forgot about it, it's, it's this one right here, Obsikion, and then Converted a bit cultures back and forth, became Greek eventually. Reformed the Byzantine Empire. Had Georgia and the Allen Riders for some reason pledge allegiance to us, with, which means that we now have the Mamluks and the Allen Riders as our vassal troops. And then we just went on, gathered the prestige, formed the Byzantine Empire, panicked a bit because of the new inheritance law, found out that everything is alright, and reformed the Hellenic faith. Is it strange? Yes. I, I probably had like eight, eight times I think I reformed my, or I changed my religion <laughs> in this playthrough. But here we are. Um, this was fun. Very short-lived fun for the record. Only like two and a half hours, but my god. We've changed the face of the world in a very ridiculous fashion. And I think we gotta call it here. Tomorrow I will actually be back. I will actually stream same time 6pm. We're gonna stream with Harald Hadrade. We're gonna do the next Monarch's Journey. I'm excited. This was fun. And I will see all of you tomorrow. Now for the record, uh, if you want to play multiplayer games next week, not tomorrow, but next week, um, join the Discord of the channel. We occasionally do multiplayer games. Uh, you can also organize multiplayer games there, of course, by yourself. I want to thank Sarah, Lachlan and Adam. Uh, Aiden, Adam, Adam, also a nice name, but Aiden even nicer. And Aiden for the uh, donations to the channel. Thank you so much. This is what keeps the channel running, of course. I want to thank all of you for tuning in, and I want to thank Paradox for making this ridiculous challenge. What a what a great challenge this was. I hope that you are uh, able to do this at home, and I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Until then. <laughs>